What I'm doing here is very subtle. It might even seem like, well, what is even moving? What are you doing? And essentially, what I'm trying to do is push my foot forward into plantar flexion, okay? But I can't because it's up against the immovable object of my upper body and hips. So as I push into it, my toes dig into the ground. You can see my heels probably pop forward slightly, pops me up on my hips, but I can't literally get out of this position because it's too weak, but that is the point. So because that tissue is nice and stretched out, it's at its end range, I am now basically teaching it, boom, to squeeze and be okay contracting. This borrows from the, uh, I believe it's called the VAR protocol, where it's a 30 second hold of an isometric against an immovable object in a lot of cases. And this is basically teaching the connective tissue to relinquish control from the good tissue down to the uh, damaged tissue and relax. And even though my foot tissue is relatively healthy, just doing that for, let's say, let's 15, 20 seconds is like, well, okay, I can feel a little bit of pump there. So ideally, I get to a place like this. Now you might not have the toe bend to facilitate this. That's totally fine. You could go back like so until you have just a little bit of toe bend going. And even that, I can start pressing in. Now this might be a little aggressive. I might not program this movement for you if you're this bad off, but the goal is, can I start to hunker down into this toe space a little bit, driving my hips back until I've got full toe bend and then squeezing and holding. I can add more weight, squeezing and holding, less weight, squeezing and holding, and use that distance to basically scale.